Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. Okay, welcome to lesson 18, slicing on an angle. All right, classwork number one says example. With your group, discuss whether a right rectangular prism can be sliced at an angle so that the resulting slice looks like the figure in figure one. If it is possible, draw an example of such a slice into the following prism. So I've created in a copy of this and I drew where that would be. If I were to bring this over here and place it right about here. Move it down just a little. lining up all these sides, it would look like about there. So the green lines were the original uh, corners of the box. And if you could picture that uh, pinkish color triangle, that would be the base of a triangular prism slicing through. And that would be the figure one sliced through. Okay, number or exercise one says with your group, Discuss how to slice a right rectangular prism so that the resulting slice looks like the figure in the figure two. Here's figure two, and it says to justify your reasoning. So what you want to do is basically do this right here, but instead of an equilateral triangle, get an isosceles triangle where two sides are congruent. And in order to do that, you would want to use a ruler and measure two segments to be equal and have one to be shorter. So here's an explanation. I would use a ruler to measure two segments of equal length on two edges that meet at a common vertex. So in the diagram up here, that would be measuring this distance and this distance that meet at this common vertex maybe. And then if this distance and this distance are equal, we would want to move them in closer the same amount to make this side shorter. Then I would join these two endpoints with a third segment is what they're saying. Okay, so part B now says, with your group, discuss how to slice a right rectangular prism so the resulting slice looks like the figure in figure three, which is an equilateral triangle. All three sides are congruent. Okay, so this would be done by using a ruler to measure three segments of equal length on three edges that meet at a common vertex. Okay, page two, example two. It says, with your group, discuss whether a right rectangular prism can be sliced at an angle so that the resulting slice looks like the figure in figure four, which is a rectangle. Remember, rectangles opposite sides are congruent. This side is congruent to this side, and this side is congruent to this side. And all four angles are 90 degrees. If it is possible, draw an example of such a slice in the following prism. Now remember, it's got to be sliced at an angle. So can we slice this at an angle and get this shape? Okay, so here is an example. So long as... this side right here is parallel to this side and the same length and this side is parallel to this side and the same length then we would have this shape so yes it is possible to cut this at an angle through this pyramid or prism and form a rectangular shape or slice okay exercise two in example two, we discovered how to slice a right rectangular prism to, to make the shapes, to make the shapes of a rectangle and a parallelogram. Are there other ways to slice right rectangular prisms that result in other quadrilateral shaped slices? Okay, so here's an example. If you slice this like so at an angle where the top is shorter than the bottom, this is a trapezoid. So that's just one example. So the answer to exercise two is yes, and this is an example. 
this formed a trapezoid. All right, example three. If slicing a plane through a right rectangular prism so that the slices or the slice meets the three faces of the prism, the resulting slice is in the shape of a triangle. If the slice meets four faces, the resulting slice is the shape of a quadrilateral. Is it possible to slice the prism in a way that the region formed is a pentagon or a hexagon or an octagon, as in figures five, six, and seven? And here's the answer. Yes, it is possible to slice a right rectangular prism with a plane so that the resulting cross-section is a pentagon. The slice would have to meet five of the six faces of the prism. Similarly, it is possible for the slice to take the shape of a hexagon if the slice meets all six faces. It is impossible to create a slice in the shape of an octagon because the right rectangular prism has six faces and it is not possible for the shape of a slice to have more than more size than the number of faces of the solid. Okay, on to page three, part B. Draw an example of a slice in a pentagon shape and a slice in a hexagon shape. So this is from part A. We concluded that yes, it's possible to make a five and six sided figure as long as you hit five or six sides of the shape. All right, so here is an, here are two examples of that. So this slice here is coming down. We hit every single face except the base. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and this is what this shape would look like. That is a pentagon, five-sided figure. Here is a hexagon. Notice that they hit the back over here the top right here, the right side here, the left side over here, the bottom here, and the front here. So it hit all six sides and formed this shape right here. Okay, example four. A, with your group, discuss whether a right rectangular pyramid can be sliced at an angle so that the resulting slice looks like the figure in figure eight. If it is possible, draw the example of such a slice into the following pyramid. So the first thing I would do is say, okay, how many sides does figure eight have? Okay, this has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. This is a pentagon, five-sided figure. How many faces does a triangular prism um, have? Okay, or a pyramid. It's got the base, it's got the front, the left, the right, and the back. So it has five sides. So it should be possible to create a pentagon from a slice. Okay, so here's an example. Notice that we are hitting all five sides, including the bottom here. This is the base. This is the right side. This is the front side. This is the left side, and that is the back side. So that is a five-sided pentagon, as stated here. You just have to adjust where you're meeting on the edges to determine the lengths of the size of the slice. Now part B says, with your group discuss whether a right rectangular pyramid can be sliced at an angle so the resulting slice looks like the figure in figure nine. Well, this is a six-sided figure or a hexagon. And since this has six sides and the pyramid only has five faces, then this is not possible. So putting it into words, I would say it is impossible to create a slice in the shape of a hexagon because a right rectangular pyramid has five faces. And it is not possible for the shape of a slice to have more sides than the number of faces of the solid. Okay, page four brings us to the end of lesson 18. Review the lesson summary and go do your problem set.